Secret recordings of the man many people are asking to step down from his position as the head of the Catholic Diocese here in Buffalo. Good evening once again, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Two on your side, Steve Brown spoke to the man at the center of those controversial recordings who used to be Bishop Richard Malone's right-hand man. Whose idea was it to record those meetings? Uh, my own, uh, because uh, if I wanted to relate to anyone uh, what was being said and discussed, how Bishop Malone refers to priests in those meetings, nobody would uh, believe to me. Born in Poland, now a U.S. citizen, Father Richard Biernot is the person behind the now famous secret audio recordings of Bishop Richard Malone. You'll hear one of those recordings in a moment. This interview, this afternoon, was actually our second meeting. The first meeting was here at the Catholic Center in early August. I had questions about this. It's a letter I got in the mail about a week earlier, and it seemed like it could be troublesome for the diocese. It was written by Birnat. It was to Matthew Bojanowski, who stood near here two weeks ago for a news conference. I call on Bishop Malone to resign immediately. Back to the letter. What exactly was the issue with this three-page message from Birnat to Bojanowski? In one of those secret recordings, Bishop Malone is seriously worried about it. We were in a true crisis situation, true crisis, and everyone in the office is convinced this could be the end for me as bishop. That letter, it, it does look like a love letter, so we don't know what Steve Brown's going to do with this. I trust you enough. Yeah. I don't have a. I don't think you're a liar. I know you're not. Neither am I. As that conversation continues, Malone coaches Biernot on what to say and not to say to me in our off-camera interview, mostly. He doesn't want any mention of Father Jeffrey Nowak. I don't want, with Steve Brown, this to get into the Jeff part of it. I mean, what are we going to say? You know what I'm saying? We can't, please don't get into that. Yeah. I think we're going we're gonna to blow this story up into something like an atom bomb if we start talking about that, you know? Because then it sounds like, it sounds like a soap opera. It sounds like a love triangle, you know? Matthew, yeah. you, Jeff, and you know what yeah. the media can do mm -hmm. with that. Months earlier, Bojanowski filed a complaint against Nowak. They had once been friends, but Bojanowski claims he was romantically pursued and sexually harassed by Nowak, charges Nowak completely denies. Are there other recordings that we don't know about? No, those are three, th three recordings that I've, I've made of the bishop. Those are the ones that I shared with, with the law enforcement and with, with, the, with the press. Law enforcement? Yeah. Which law enforcement agency? Uh, FBI. And it's not just the FBI that has those secret recordings of Bishop Malone. Beernot's attorney, Barry Covert, says both the state attorney general's office and the Erie County District Attorney's office have the recordings too. Also, Beernot says within the Catholic Center, Malone's own senior staff is split on whether the bishop should stay on or resign. More on all of this coming up tonight at 11. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.